You know, one of the things that, that I pride myself in is that I take care of people. I'm a caring person. I always go by the motto that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And I also feel that service to humanity is the best work of life, and I go by those. I am a city councillor, and I am a city councillor because when I first came on council, I felt that we did not enjoy the best quality of life that we could enjoy in, in our communities. And I wanted to make London a safer place, a healthier place, and a more progressive place to live and to work and to bring up children and to continue to achieve the quality of life that we have come to, to enjoy. And I believe that, that I could work hard to make that happen. At the past 10 years, I've worked hard to make it happen, and I intend to do so. I've got experience. I worked for Bell Canada for 24 years. I've got a lot of leadership skills, a lot of management skills. So I have experience, I have knowledge, and I have integrity. And I want to utilize those to continue, uh, I should say, I want to continue to utilize those to help make some of the decisions that are needed to be made. We have a lot of things that are of uh, importance to, to our community, both my ward and the rest of London. And one of them is definitely the tax situation. We need to be able to work to, to make the tax more, a better appetite for people to accept. We need to work on job creation, which I think we've done a pretty good job over the past 10 years, and we want to continue doing that, particularly with our land development strategy. We need to improve our transit system. It's, at this time, we really need to take the transit system to a different level. Right now, it's just normal. We need to take it to, to a faster level where we could bring people downtown and take people back home, particularly during the busy hours. And, that's going to be, the next step is definitely going to be the bus rapid transit system. We need to be able to, to do something about speeding. It is a vicious thing the way people speed and disrespect stop signs and so on in this community. And we have to do something like that. When people, we have to start making people respect the stop signs. And the police has got to do a better job with, with ticketing people if necessary. They get a lot of money from us, almost 19% of our property taxes is, is for the police, and I think that they don't do a good enough job with, return, uh, with respect to traffic. Uh, most anybody that you hear talk about it, they'll talk about traffic. And before I finish quickly, we've got to do something about our garbage collection. The thing that I've heard always, always, always is that, what's, when is garbage day, when is garbage day? We need to be able to say that Tuesday is garbage day, Wednesday is garbage day, Thursday is garbage day, and stick to that. So that, what that means is that we've got to come back to a seven-day garbage system. I don't care how we do it, whether some garbage will be picked up 14 days, every 14 days, and some seven days. But when we start bringing in this green box, we're going to have to look at the entire situation. Um, and we have to bring the taxes in line with respect to uh, residential, and industrial. I'm not saying how. Uh, some pay more than others. Uh, the water taxes and all that. We've got to make it so that it's, uh, it's fair to everyone. So that, those are some of the big things that we have to, to look at. There are many, many little things that we cannot ignore the little things. We've got to make those small decisions. But we, people must remember that we make over a hundred decisions every single week. And some of them are tiny and the press blow them up. And some of them are big, and it, the press never brings them forward. Nobody ever sees them. So all in all, I think that uh, the next council is going to have a challenge without board of control. We're only going to have three committees. We're going to have to redistribute our responsibilities. We're going to have to do a lot more reading, a, a lot more um, um, conscientiousness with respect to finances, real estate, legal, and, and human resources that the board of control used to look after. And we're still going to have to look after all those other things. We're going to have smaller committees and three committees instead of four, so we're going to have to work harder. And I do hope that we all are prepared for that. Me, I am able, willing, and ready. And I want to be voted in as the candidate of choice for Ward 12. I've been there for a few years now. I live in the ward. And uh, like I said earlier, I work, play, and worship in the ward. So for the people who are out there from my ward who are listening to me, I ask them to re-elect me, Harold Usher, 
as the award 12 councillor for the next term.